One of the most difficult titles to attain in all of athletics is the NCAA individual title of excellence in track and field, the Bowerman Award. Out of the thousands and thousands of collegiate athletes that are in the running for this accomplishment every season, only one male and one female athlete can be crowned as the greatest. And as you can imagine, the competition to stand atop the NCAA rankings is fierce. This season, we had one of the deepest pools of athletes in collegiate history, with many individuals very much in contention for this award. From Trey Cunningham absolutely dominating in the men's 110 meter hurdles, to the remarkably talented Joseph Von Belay, winning both the NCAA titles in the men's 100 and 200 meters, to Favre Ophelia from LSU rising to international sprinting prominence in the women's 200 meters, the selection process for this award was undoubtedly very challenging. But considering what she has done in 2022 and her dramatic transformation over the previous few seasons, it's no surprise that Abby Steiner has officially been crowned as this year's Bowerman recipient. Now, we've gone into great detail at just how much success Steiner has seen this season. And looking back at it, it's kind of remarkable at how much she was actually able to achieve in 2022. In contrast to many collegiate athletes who struggled to find success after the NCAA campaign has ended, Steiner went on to win the United States National Championship in the 200 meters at 21.77 seconds. She won the gold medal in this year's World Championships as part of the women's 4x100 meter relay, running the second leg in the fastest time in the field at 9.86 seconds. And she also ran another sub 50 second clocking as part of the gold medal winning team in the 4x400 meter relay. Beyond just this regular postseason success, she also broke the American record in the Indoor 200, she was the collegiate champion going away in this event, she won the Outdoor NCAA record in the 200 meters as well, and she was part of yet another NCAA record in the women's 4x4, and in this very race, she ran a split time of 48.77 seconds, one of the fastest times ever achieved in the 4x4. Analyzing Steiner's season shows us one of the most high-performing and consistent seasons in collegiate history, and from her indoor performances to her outdoor times, she never once stepped off the gas. But how exactly did she get to the very top of the sprinting scene in the United States? If we go all the way back to June 2nd of 2018, we can see Abby Steiner competing in the state track and field championships in Columbus, Ohio. Now, at the time, she was heavily involved with soccer as well, and she would even later receive a full scholarship to the University of Kentucky for this. But despite not fully investing in track at the time, she still ran one of the greatest times in high school history, winning this state meet with a time of 22.73 seconds. This talent as a high school athlete is quite impressive, but it doesn't even begin to showcase her true dominance as a high school runner, because she actually won four consecutive titles in the 200 meter dash. This means that from her freshman year up to her senior year, she was unstoppable, running incredible times against many talented athletes in Ohio. And beyond just the 200 meters, she also won the state title in the 100 meter dash for her final three seasons, again achieving fantastic times in this event. These individual state championships showcase a promising young prodigy with a very bright future in track and field. However, the single greatest performance of her high school campaign just might be what she did in this 4x200 meter relay, as Steiner achieved one of the greatest comebacks in relay history. Now for this relay, Steiner was set to run the anchor leg, and even though this still frame here is a little bit difficult to see, you can still see how far Abby Steiner is from the first placed athlete. But despite this massive gap, that's probably around 25 to 30 meters, she maintained her form all the way to the finish, and incredibly, she edged out her competition to take this victory. Clearly, throughout her high school track and field career, Steiner set some pretty impressive marks, and her performances were certainly memorable. And upon arriving at the University of Kentucky, she only continued her fantastic running. As a freshman, Steiner was still running very fast, hitting times of 11.23 in the 100 meters and 22.79 in the 200. For her freshman season, she was competing very well, but she wasn't quite able to win any individual championships. However, that would completely change for her next season in 2020. 
If we move forward to the 2020 SEC Indoor Championships, Steiner was set to compete in the 200 meter finals, and with a fantastic performance, she took this victory over Tamara Clark from Alabama with a finishing time of 22.57 seconds. Despite being just a sophomore, this performance was already one of the top 10 indoor 200 meter times in NCAA history. And with such a tremendous performance, her 2020 season looked very bright indeed. But sadly, this would be her very last competition of 2020, as the global pandemic quickly put a stop to 2020. This early departure from her track and field season definitely left the world wondering just how fast she could go. And entering her next season in 2021, she went on an absolute tear during her indoor season. For her indoor 200 meter performances, she was absolutely unstoppable in 2021. For her first six races, she went undefeated and she typically won by comfortable margins. But then on March 13th, she was set to run in the Indoor NCAA Championships, where ultimately, she was set to make history. For this race, Steiner broke the collegiate record with a performance of 22.38 seconds, again edging out Tamara Clark from Alabama by a very small margin. And even though her indoor times were improving at this point, she sadly suffered an Achilles tendon injury in the beginning stages of her outdoor campaign, which ultimately kept her away from any more outdoor improvements. Through the global pandemic and now a very untimely injury, Steiner had been denied the ability to showcase her speed during her outdoor racing seasons for the past two years. But then, even before 2022 arrived, she was already hitting the track once her injury subsided. On December 11th of 2021, Steiner managed to break the collegiate record in the indoor 300 meters. With a time of 35.80 seconds, this time took down the 40-year-old collegiate record of Merlene Adi by just three one-hundredths of a second. Looking back on it, Steiner's season-ending injury in 2021 and the global pandemic in 2020 left some serious unfinished business for both racing seasons. And because of this, it only makes sense that Steiner was ready to run even before 2022 arrived. After breaking this historic NCAA record, Steiner was absolutely unstoppable. For her indoor season, she again went undefeated in the 200 meter dash. She broke the American record in this event as well. She won the NCAA championships indoors and she improved in her indoor 60 meter dash by more than a 10th of a second. After her indoor season ended, which was one of the greatest indoor seasons in NCAA history, she thankfully did not get injured again. And this only meant one thing, that Abby Steiner was about to unleash some serious smoke. In every single one of her outdoor racing disciplines, she set massive personal records. In the 100 meters, she improved by more than four tenths of a second in comparison to her previous racing seasons. Likewise, in the 200 meters, she achieved by almost an entire second. And even though she never raced in the open 400 this year, she most definitely improved in this event as well by virtue of her amazing relay splits, where she regularly ran under 50 seconds in this discipline. This Bowerman Award was most definitely deserved for Abby Steiner. And moving into 2023, I have one final question for all of you. How fast do you think she will run in the 100 meters, the 200 meters, and potentially in the 4 x 400 meter relay? Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.